commandment that I command you today, you shall be careful to do, that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land that the Lord swore to give to your fathers. And you shall remember the whole way that the Lord your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. And he humbled you, and let you hunger, and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Matthew 4 Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Deuteronomy 9 And at Kibroth Hattabah, you provoked the Lord to wrath. And when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and take possession of the land that I have given you, then you rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and did not believe him or obey his voice. John 3 Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. I speak unto thee this day, and I say that if a man is truly following me, he cannot continue in sin. For I say that he will be convicted, he will be miserable, he will be vexed, if he attempts to think that he can live for me and live for sin. For I say, when men are walking in true repentance before me, then I say they cannot continue in sin. That is, they cannot live out a continual life of sin and sin and sin again, and still be found pleasing unto me. For I say that I don't be God never made allocation for men to live in sin, to progress in sin and grow deeper in sin. But I say that I've made the allocation of my own life, that men would be redeemed and walk uprightly in me. That is, that they would understand that it is me they are meant to seek to please, to obey, and follow after. For I say, when a people will be ever humble and walking in me, then I say they are guided forth in my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call men to live in dishonor or disrespect before me, or towards me by living in sin. For I say that a man may speak great swelling words and declare that he loves me, but I say that if he's living in sin, it absolutely is not true. For I say that a man cannot, cannot, cannot continue in the degradation of sin, whilst all the while claiming he loves me if he really loves me. And I say that a man who is truly repentant will not desire to return to sin. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give to you the light, the truth, and the mercy, I say you are meant to walk each day in the same. And I say you are meant to be made glad that it is me you can look to and believe. For I say it is me, the living God, who does purpose my people to be ever guided in that which I give time and again. And it is me, the living God, who does purpose my people that they would come forth ever made glad in me. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give to you the light, the truth, and the mercy, by repenting unto me, that is, I give you the same. That is, I give you the newness of life when you do repent, that can only be found through me. But I say when men are found in the darkness, the evil of their own way, where do they go? I say they go on in sin, they go on in evil, and I say their hearts are not right with me. But I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call to all men, to all men, to all men, to repent. And I say it is because men are needy, desperately needy, of turning from sin, of walking uprightly in what it is that I give to my own. For I say if any man or woman will truly repent, then I say they will literally abhor sin. And I say that they will not desire to return to sin, but I say they will want to walk in my way. Now I say this day that I am living God to call you to respect me, to honor me, and to live in the fear of me. And I say that I call you to be knowing that it is me you can look to each day. For I say if you will come forth in that which I offer, that which I give, then I say you are guided in life. 
But I say, if you go in the way of sin, if you go in the way of darkness, evil, and iniquity, you are headed in the way of fools. Now I say, this day, when I, the living God, do give to you the light, the truth, and the mercy, I say, you are meant to come forth, ever may gladden me. And yes, you are meant to be thankful that it is me you can look to, believe in, and trust day by day. For I say that I, the living God, do delight when my people will honor me by the way that they live their lives. That is, not returning again and again and again unto sin, only to be proven to be fools. Now I say this day, let it be me that you look to, let it be me that you will believe in day by day. For I say, if it is me, the living God, that you keep your vision upon, if it is me, the living God, that you will follow after and seek to please, then of course you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the strength to continue the light upon the path and the truth that I provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who provides my own with the way of my righteousness, the way of my truth, and the way of my mercy intended. And I say, when the people are believing upon me and trusting in me, then they are guided by me. Now I say, you are living in times of lawlessness, times of carelessness, and times when men are walking afar off from me. That is, they are going in a way that I never intended, nor did I provide. And I say they are going in a way that proves they are not honoring me because they are disrespecting my rule in their lives. That is, even the ones who claim they love me yet continue in sin, I say they are double-minded fools. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give the call to repentance, I say it is meant that all men everywhere would hear and obey. But of course they will not obey me, they will not humble themselves and walk uprightly in me. But I say there are multitudes who will go on in a way that is darkness, evil, and iniquity, because they are far from me. And I say they are choosing a way that will cause them sorrow and suffering, because it is far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk afar off from me, but I say that I call you to come forth, may glad in me. That is, ever thankful to be uplifted, directed, and guided forth in the true delight, the mercy of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, blessedness, and truth, and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who will show unto you the light always, because I am well able. Now I say this day, when you look upon the hideous condition that men are in, the sin that is permeated everywhere, and the way that men walk afar off from me, what do they gain through it all? I say, for their multiplied transgression, they gain sorrow and damnation of soul. And I say, when men are choosing the way of corruption, they are choosing the way of death. But I say, when men are choosing the way of my righteousness, I say, they are brought forth by me. Now I say, this day, when I, the living God, do offer unto you the truth and the light, I say, you are men to accept the same. That is, not going on in the darkness of sin and thinking somehow you get by. For I say you are not meant to be lending yourself to that which is transgression, but I say you are meant to become the slaves of my desire for thee. For I say you are meant to be giving yourself continually unto me to be the slave of righteousness, rather than returning to be the slave of sin. Now I say, when I, the living God, have given myself that men could be redeemed from the penalty of sin, I say they are not meant to abuse what I've done for them. That is, by returning to sin, by wallowing in sin, by flirting with sin. But I say that my people are meant to see that the wages of sin is death, and those who will go on in the same are damned forever. That is, if men continue, continue, continue in sin, refusing the freedom that is found through repentance, revolution before me, I say they are nothing but fools. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to live in the way of a fool, to live in the way of multiplied transgression, but I say that I call you to live in the truth. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you can be uplifted and guided in my way. And I say that I call you to realize that it is me you can look to and believe. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give to you the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to be brought forth, ever guided, directed, and corrected by me. Now I say this day, when I, the living God, do give you the call to humble yourself before me, I say you are meant to walk in that call. That is, not giving way to that which I have forbidden unto thee, but ever coming forth uplifted in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of truth and light, mercy, strength, and hope always. 
And it is neither to think God who will cause you to know what it is to be kept, for I keep the ones who are mine. Now I say, therefore, this day, do not look to the world and the vanity of the saints. Do not think there is something to be found in the darkness of it all. For I say that the world is full of evil and invitation to sin on every hand. And I say, when you give yourself over to the invitation that is present in the world, you are giving yourself to lies. And I say that I, the living God, do not call you to live in lies, but I say that I call you to live in the truth that I provide. And I say that I call you to be uplifted, brought forth, and ever guided in me. Therefore I say this day, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful to be set free of sin. That is, that you do not need to end in sin and likewise be damned. But you can indeed be set free through repentance, revolution unto me, the one true God you are meant to please. For I say it is me, the living God, who finds my joy in a people who will walk uprightly in me. And I say, when you see the ones who are claiming that they are mine, yet I say they are living in sin and sin and sin again, no, they are nothing but stubborn, proud fools. For I say, they are holding tightly to the very thing that will cause them to lose their souls. And I say, they are holding to the very thing that will bring them even to physical death if they continue in their sin. For I say that the wages of sin is death that has always been, it will always be. And I say, when a man is perverse in his desire to sin, I say that he's not truly loving me. For I say that I, the living God, do not call you to sin, but I say that I call you to the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you can be uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. And I say that I call you to know, understand, and realize that you can come forth rejoicing in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is truth and light, mercy and hope, and the peace provided. Therefore I say, be faithful, be true, be steady, to give yourself over unto me, for I am your God. And I say, it is me you are meant to keep serving, continuing in repentance, revolution each day. That is, ever willing to humble yourself, to resist the temptation, to sin, to walk uprightly in the way that I provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does give to you the truth, the light, the strength, and the hope day by day. And it is me, the living God, who does offer unto you the way wherein you can be kept each day by me. Therefore I say, be thankful to believe me, to receive of me, and be brought forth in me, for I am your God. And I say, when it is me, the living God, that you keep yourself clean before through repentance, then I say, you are found pleasing me. But I say, when any man or woman returns to sin, I say, they are taking themselves into the way of death. And I say they are taking themselves to the way that will cause them to lose their souls. I say this day you are not meant to lose your soul, but I say you are meant to adhere to me and to come forth uplifted in me. And I say you are meant to be thankful each day that I give to you the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. That is, rejoicing for the privilege to believe me, to receive of me, and be brought forth in my way. That is, uplifted, directed, and guided in that which I give, which is the truth, the light, and the strength day by day. Therefore I say, in a wayward, a perverse, a vile generation, let it be me that you believe upon, let it be me that you will follow after. And let it be me, the living God, who will guide you forth in that which I give time and again. For I say you are meant to be subject to me, subject to my truth, my light, my mercy, day by day. And I say you are meant to be subject to what it is that I, the living God, do give unto you, which is the way of eternal life. I say this day that I, the living God, do not find pleasure in those who give themselves over to slavery and sin. That is, when they have seen the light, they have received the mercy and forgiveness that I do give, then they return <coughs> unto sin again. For I say, such ones are fools before me because they do not respect nor give me thanks for what it is that I've done for them. But I say, they return to the bondage, the oppression, the darkness of sin, all to their own damnation. I say, this day do not live and die and perish as a fool because you are hooked on sin. But I say, refuse to give way to sin, refuse to partake of the same, and walk uprightly in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will give you the truth, the light, and the strength day by day. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to be brought forth, knowing that it is me you are privileged to serve. That is, that you can be directed, guided, and instructed each day in the life, the light, the strength that I give, because it is me that you love. I say, thank me, praise me.
John 4. Meanwhile, the disciples were urging him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. 